Hello and welcome to Atheism versus Logic. I hope you're having a good day. I want to talk to you about skepticism and relationships. Because my concern with atheists is that they are overly skeptical toward a creator. And of course, I've said it before, they're not skeptical enough about abiogenesis. And so imagine I'm married. I've got two kids and another kid on the way. So imagine if I was skeptical, like I'm seeing atheists be skeptical toward God. I was, I was skeptical toward a wife and getting married. And let's say I go back in time and I met my wife and, you know, we went out on a couple dates. But I was like, you know, I want to make sure that my wife or the, I'm sorry, this girl that I'm potentially going to marry will be a great wife for my whole life and a good mother to our children. Well, if I wanted evidence that I could not deny, then I would have to observe her getting married to someone else and having someone else's kids and see how she is as a wife and a mother. And, you know, you can't do it for a short amount of time because she could change and, and become a, an unfaithful wife or an unloving mother. And so I'd really have to observe her for the rest of the life of her life, see how she is as a grandmother and and then maybe by the end of her life, I could say, well, I have undeniable evidence that she is a, a good wife and a good mother. But what happened? I completely missed out on this woman, right? So if I wait for undeniable evidence, then I miss out on the relationship and that's how relationships work. Christianity is about a relationship with God. So if you're waiting for undeniable evidence that you can't wiggle out of, because I've definitely seen atheists wiggle out of the evidence for a creator by looking at biological molecular machines and genetic code, they talk themselves out of it. You know, if you're wanting God to force you to believe that you can trust him, well, it's not going to happen because relationships don't work that way. There is always a certain amount of risk built into relationships because relationships are built on trust. So, I just want to caution you on that. Yes, be skeptical. Yes, be rational. But man, atheists have shown me that they are not skeptical and they are not rational because they believe in something they've never seen, which is a machine making itself and code writing itself. Right? Any atheist, which means that you lack a belief in God and you are aware that life exists, therefore, you do not see life as evidence for a creator, therefore, you believe that life could create itself, therefore, you believe that machines could make themselves and code could write themselves. How ridiculous and unskeptical and irrational of you. But I'm asking you, to be sober-minded about relationships. And if you're waiting for a specific God, which I believe the, the one who created us is Jesus, if you're waiting on that to be completely uh, verified, then you will miss out on that relationship with Jesus. So here's what I recommend you do. I recommend you actually read the New Testament for yourself. The, the New Testament explains the Old Testament. Yeah, you're going to find things that are confusing to you, but you will not find, um, let me repeat this, you will not find anything that hasn't been found before. I have atheists send me emails and private messages all the time, you know, trying to debunk the Bible, and they find this apparent contradiction. And, and you know, at first I would answer them, but then I would just say, give this general response, hey, you haven't found something that hasn't been found before. Find a, do a quick Google search for an article or video answering on why that is not a contradiction or not a problem for Christianity. But then you've got the fact that they don't want to believe. So, so this is a warning that if you are overly skeptical toward a relationship, then you will miss out on that relationship. So may you be sober-minded and, and honest with yourself and believe that there is a creator because of biological, molecular machines and genetic code. And may you seek that creator. And read the New Testament for yourself. Don't reject Christianity because of some false version of it. Don't think the Roman Catholic Church uh, is the right example of Christianity. 
it does not line up with the New Testament. Start with Francis Chan. Just listen to Francis Chan and read the New Testament for yourself. And if you find anything in the Bible that just doesn't sits well, doesn't sit well with you, well then do your research. Understand that God is not you. He is he is a hyperdimensional being, so he can do things that will offend you that were the right thing to do, just like parents make decisions that three-year-olds don't understand. Why won't you let me watch TV all day? Why can't I have candy for dinner? Right? That's a mean parent, but that's a right parent, and God seems mean because he's right. I care about you, and I want you to have a relationship with Jesus. I don't want you to miss out on that marriage.